in the next round. Uh, your thoughts on the game this evening? Uh, a little bit more frantic than it needed to be, I think. Uh, first half with a lot of chances. Uh, big opportunities to put the, the game really to bed. Didn't take them. Uh, and we end up hanging on as a result. But I think uh, you're playing against a good team that were able to play a wee bit more carefree because of the result last week, which where the boys were fantastic. So it's almost a consequence of that. But well, we know we need to be a little bit better. But it's you don't come up against a team that's playing carefree every week. Is that maybe the frustration Stephen, because the game plan worked, didn't it? It was just the fact we didn't take the chances. Yeah, I think so. I think we had probably two or three real chances first half where you're thinking it should be goals. Uh, and I, they, they didn't have too many opportunities in the first half. I know they had the bulk of pressure and it felt like it at times, but I didn't feel like we were under real pressure. Joe had a really good save at the start of the game. But other than that, nothing that was a real trouble. Uh, and it, it just got frantic, it felt like that, but we knew it would feel like that at times when they're good players, the good, their best players are attacking and they were throwing everything at it. But teams, as you say, were throwing everything at it. We did have to defend and show character and I thought we did that for the most part. Yeah, we did. Uh, I don't think we were helped by the officials, to be fair, uh, but it's the, the boys coped with everything. We, we knew what it was going to be like and you come through the other end. Obviously, the, the task last Thursday night before the kick-off was to get through to the next round, so they were, they were that good last Thursday that it gave the other team an opportunity to do what they did tonight by, by playing carefree. Yeah. As you say, I mean, ha they're a decent side, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it shows the quality of our performance last week, so that, that shouldn't get lost in it. I know we lost the game 2-0 tonight, but it shouldn't be lost the fact that how good we were last week, and I think that's important for our players to, to focus on uh, ahead of the United game. Look, head of the United game, you've got some minutes into the subs as well, so you've got a few options. Do you want to freshen things up on Sunday? Yeah, we've got good options. We've got uh, The boys will do a little bit of work just now here on the pitch actually as well, so they can not have to do it tomorrow when we get back. It's a late travel, uh, but we'll, we'll have a group that's ready to go on Sunday, there's no doubt about that. I won't reflect on all the players, but I'm just going to pick out Ross McCrory over the two legs. I thought, you know, centre half, he hasn't played a lot there at this level, but I thought he did very, very well. He's been really good, actually. Yeah, we, we knew that Declan was suspended for the first game, so we had to deal with that anyway. We're prepared for that, but Ross has been brilliant through the whole pre season. Uh, and he showed it again last week and he showed it tonight. So, delighted with his performance level, yeah. It's nearly signs, but I think Christian and Jay, there's a, there's a real partnership there for him, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There is. Again, first half, there was opportunities. I think second half, Christian had a couple of little half ones as well, but uh, there was Jets dangerous as well. He, had, he could have released hedges with a bit of firmer pass in the first half. We'd let Ryan get a shot off a bit quicker. Uh, there's just the fine detail in the final third, but obviously we're, we're two games in as well. Uh, we're limited pre-season games, we've, we've prepared well, but this is where it counts and uh, I think the surface probably caught up a wee bit at times as well and you can see they were used to it. Yeah. Is he okay for Sunday to get off the head knock? I think so, yeah, he's got a cut above his eye. I don't know if he's got stitches or not, I've not spoke to him yet, but he's got a, he's got a decent sized cut above his eye. So. Uh, Again, it was another one where the guys actually headed them not near the ball, but they managed not to see it. But it's a wee bit strange, uh, but there you go. No other concerns ahead of Sunday? No, no, no everybody comes through it unscathed. Yeah. Yeah. Massive week coming up. We don't know at the moment the opponents. It's maybe looking like Iceland, the Icelandic team too a lot, but wherever we go, it's, it's going to be some games coming thick and fast, but I think we're in good shape though. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you'd almost say the preparation work's done now, and it's now it's the league business starts, which is always exciting. Uh, I just said to the players, their performance level last Thursday resulted in a game selling out as quick as it did the other day. So there's an appetite for people to come and watch the players and they'll be ready for it on Sunday. Stephen, I'll let you out of the rain, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Mel.